it's worth spending a few moments talking about safe ASU operations. Safety beats in the heart of industrial gases. But there are inherent hazards. And the challenge is to minimize the risk. The devastated ASU site at the Henan Gas Group Yima Coal Gasification Plant in Shenmian Sha in China reminds us that ASU operations have the potential to lead to tragedy. 15 people lost their lives because of that explosion in July of 2019 and see injured. The investigation at Yima concluded that the direct cause of the accident was that the leakage of the cold box of the air separation unit device was not handled in time and sand explosion occurred. The cold box then collapsed onto a 500 cubic meter liquid oxygen storage tank. Further explosions and fires followed. The sequence of events after the cryogenic leak into the cold box is clear. But the sequence of events that caused the leakage are still not determined. However, the accident investigation report makes some pertinent recommendations, such as controlling organic matter entering the main air compressor. It also recommends that the hydrocarbon content of the liquid oxygen system must be measured regularly. These points cast our minds back to the horrific ASU explosion that took place at the GTL plant in Bintalu in Malaysia in 1997. At that time, there were forest fires on the island of Sarawak where Bintalu is located. The smoke contains schools which accumulated in the cryogenic liquid oxygen reboiler on one of the ASUs. That led to a catastrophic explosion and fire. By coincidence, in the same year in China, an ASU at the Fushun ethylene complex, which produced oxygen to convert the ethylene to ethylene oxide, suffered a similar explosion. In this case, the root cause was abnormally high ethylene levels in the ambient air due to venting on the ethylene plant during a shutdown. In both Bintalu and Fushun, the combination of liquid oxygen, combustible hydrocarbon material and aluminium, which is used to construct the ASU reboiler, led to the massive explosions and fires. Lessons have been captured in the EIGA document 65-13, safe operation of reboilers, condensers in air separation, unit, separation units. The principal precautions against hydrocarbon contaminant buildup in the uh, cryogenic liquid oxygen in the ASU were well established, and they focus on carbon dioxide analysis at the warm end of the ASUs and hydrocarbon analysis in the cryogenic liquid oxygen sump. Analysis of carbon dioxide breakthrough from the PPU is used to warn about the possibility that hydrocarbons such as methane or ethane are not being removed by the PPU and are therefore potentially entering the ASU. Analysis of hydrocarbons in the cryogenic liquid, generally by extraction of liquid oxygen from the main reboiler sump, is the second line of defence. This can be achieved using a total hydrocarbon analyzer. Additionally, for ASUs that use the reversing heat exchangers at their warm end, routine analysis of acetylene in the liquid oxygen from the main reboiler sump is also required. Reflecting on these issues is a stark reminder that ASU design and operation must be left in the hands of industrial gases experts to ensure that the gigascale production of oxygen to make low carbon hydrogen is done safely.